Hello YouTubers, my name is X-Factor, and today we're going to be talking about one of the most controversial things ever to be added to the Battlefield franchise. That's the support gadget, the UCAS, specifically the Airburst variant, which is an absolute pain in the ass to get. It requires you to kill a bunch of jets, then get a bunch of bomber ribbons. This is a remote detonation device. You don't even have to hit them, you just have to remote detonate it above their heads before you run out of gas. This thing is an absolute monster when playing modes such as Obliteration or Rush. Nothing is safe. This thing has a very healthy range, it is extremely agile, and it doesn't matter the verticality of your target or the angle of your target because you simply can change the angle that you're sending it off and bend it to whatever direction that you want. When it comes to hitting a land vehicle, or an attack boat, it hits for 40 damage. More importantly, it does a critical disable. That means the attack boat can't move or the tank can't rotate the base of the tank or LAV and it's simply a sitting duck for many a seconds. If it lands on top of an attack boat, everybody on the back dies. Both gunners, and if you have one, a repair person. And when it comes to helicopters, it hits even harder. They can hit for upwards of 80 plus depending on where you land it. Usually that's enough to take out a scout or a little board or a transport choppy. And again, it does not matter where they are at. DICE has a history of not removing things, but they do have a history of correcting things. Now, what I really want to talk about today is how do you adjust this? We know that there was a commander crate exploit where part of that was taken care of, but there's another part that they kind of missed. Whenever you used to go to a commander crate, you simply reselected your kit. Now you have to select a different kit, they go back to your support kit, and it kind of doubles the time, but you can still spam these things. If you don't have a commander crate, they reload automatically every 45 seconds. No matter what you do sitting on a sack or a crate, it's 45 seconds. And the agility is absolutely insane. Doesn't matter if you're chasing something, have to bend it around a nasty rock, you're able to put that into your target at will. It is much, much more agile than a TV missile. Verticality is also not a problem. If you have to go over things, you simply point it upwards and then dive bomb it down because it can be turned on a dime. Usually transport choppers try to run and hide behind cover, whether it's a hill or a bridge. No one is safe at any point in time. The question is, now that we know the characteristics of the Airburst UCAV, what do you do with it? And I want everybody to be extremely constructive with their criticism. What is your vision for the UCAV going forward? This is more than likely one of our last chances to get this thing adjusted with the Final Stand DLC. Do you agree with the automatic reload at 45 seconds? Should you only have one per life? Should it not be as agile? Should it do less damage to both vehicles and infantry? Do you fix the commander crate exploit or do you simply keep it as is? Please be constructive with your criticism and ideas because the DICE developers over at CTE are constantly watching the videos and looking for ideas in the comments. As always, YouTubers, thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. We'll see you soon.